Hey there, this is Barbie Figueroa and welcome to WordPress Wednesday. This is a new series that I decided to start on my channel where I go a little deeper into some of the insider tricks that I use uh, working inside of WordPress. This series is going to be excellent for anyone who is a do-it-yourselfer, if you're a solopreneur, uh, maybe you are in the network marketing industry and you are branding yourself online and you just want a little bit more insider uh, training on how to you know, take the most advantage of using WordPress. I'm going to go over some of my favorite themes that I love. I'm going to show you how to create some opt-in forms. I'm going to show you some really cool stuff. And if you also want to get access to some cool tools that I use and some extra resource, make sure that right below this video you click on the link and enter your name and email so you can get on my WordPress Wednesday list where uh, I'm going to just share some really, really cool stuff. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a horizontal opt-in form underneath your header. This is something that I was searching for for a really, really long time. I'm really not a coder. I'm more of the creative type, not really much into the really complicated coding stuff. So I'm going to teach you how to create the ever popular horizontal opt-in form that goes right underneath the header that you see on a lot of really, really popular uh, websites. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you want to learn how to add a horizontal opt-in form underneath the header without any knowledge of coding, then keep on watching. Hey guys, so today I'm going to share a really awesome treat with you. This is something that I was on the hunt for for a really, really long time. And I'm telling you that what I'm about to share with you today is super duper simple. And you can do this even if you are not a coder. Even if you don't know a stitch of code, you will be able to do what I'm going to share with you today. What am I going to share with you today? Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to share how to create the ever sought after under the header opt-in form, the under the header horizontal opt-in form. I'm telling you, I was looking for this for months and months and months. And every tutorial that I saw, you know, uh, shared how to hard code it in and how to duct tape code <laughs> to create a horizontal header. And uh, this is one of the reasons why I totally got sold hook, line, and sinker to my absolute favorite theme for internet marketing, which is Thrive Themes. And uh, if you want to learn more about Thrive Themes, all you have to do is look at the links below this video, and uh, I will link to where you can check out Thrive Themes for yourself. But I created this so easily in Thrive Themes that I'm almost afraid to share this with you because it really is so simple to do. Uh, but uh, I'm going to bring you the goods and I want to show you how to do this. So what I'm going to share with you is how to create this opt-in form uh, underneath your header. So what I've done here is I'm in the back office of WordPress and I've created a test page. So um, you will need to have the Thrive Themes and the Thrive Theme Builder uh, in order to accomplish this. Okay, so again, I'll link everything below this video. So uh, once the Thrive Theme Builder is uh, installed on the uh, uh, WordPress installation, all you have to do is create the page, publish it, and then go ahead and click Edit with Thrive Content Builder. Now this is really, really cool. You'll see automatically that there is a builder right here, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I am going to create a uh, just a regular page, okay? Now I'm going to just click on a blank page and I'm going to go uh, in future WordPress Wednesdays, we're going to go over some of the really cool features that Thrive Themes has. You know, I'm going to go into creating lead capture pages and all that fun stuff. So make sure that if you're not subscribed, you click on the link below to make sure that you are on my WordPress Wednesday list so that you'll never miss an episode. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and load a landing page. Okay, now I'm just going to give you a very basic overview of how to do this. All right, so let's say for example, I wanna go ahead and I'm gonna put an image right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this image and insert. Okay, so we're just doing a very, very basic blog. Okay, I'm just going through the motions of showing you how it would work. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and drag over a page section. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to adjust the padding because we want to get rid of this gap. Okay, we want to make it flush. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put like uh, minus 30. 
Okay, and that gives us a great amount of a gap. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and enter the uh, lead generation and drag it over here. Okay, now at first it'll be vertical, but we want to go ahead and change, click over here and make it horizontal. All right, so let's go ahead and change this color. I'm going to go ahead and just change it to uh, one of my colors. And the cool thing about Thrive Themes is that it saves your color theme, okay? So you can change it to, you know, whatever color that you want, okay? Whatever color that you feel uh, is good. Okay, so we'll just leave it at that. That's a nice contrasting color. Now I still have a little bit of space over here, so let me go ahead and just change the padding here to about negative 20 instead. Okay, that should leave me perfectly flush. All right, awesome. And then here you would put your catchy opt-in headline. All right, now all you have to do is connect this to your autoresponder and uh, connect it with your service and uh, we'll go over some of those videos in upcoming WordPress Wednesdays but basically I already have an API connected to my Aweber so all I have to do is click on the next step choose a list and click save and uh, these are a little more advanced things which we'll go into in future videos uh, but we'll go ahead and uh, you want to put yes you want to display the name no the phone number and if you want you can redirect to a URL so that uh, if you're creating a mini sales funnel you can have them land on a thank you page or what have you okay so basically that's how you put an opt-in form a horizontal opt-in form under the header without having to know a stitch of code. Now, how awesome was that? Okay, now you can only do this with Thrive Themes. Again, like I said, I've linked everything below. You can check that out. Uh, make sure that you subscribe for my WordPress Wednesday uh, so that you will never miss an episode in the future. So. How did you like that? Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below. So that's how you install a horizontal opt-in form underneath the header, mystery solved. You didn't have to learn any coding. You didn't have to be a complete and total expert with Thrive Themes and the uh, Thrive Content Builder. You can totally do this yourself. All right, well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did and you got value from it, do me a favor and go ahead and click on the share and the like buttons. Go ahead and share it on Facebook, or if you're on YouTube, share it on YouTube. If you really liked it, you know, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this on my Facebook fan page, make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends if you really found it valuable. Now make sure to stay tuned for next week's WordPress Wednesday, where I'm gonna show you some really neat tricks on how to start positioning your website to start capturing leads uh, with just a few simple tools that I use all the time. So this has been Barbie Figueroa. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to visit my website for more tips and insider information on how to build your business on the internet at www.personalbrandingforprofit.biz and I'll see you next time. Bye. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to create and create the the ever popular horizontal uh, <clears throat> how to so if you want to learn how to add a horizontal